Okay, so welcome. This is the first episode of Cooking with Joe. Uh, tonight we are going to be knocking up some steaks. Season 1, vlog 1. Well, not vlog, it's kind of a video, but no one cares. We're going to okay, be cooking okay. some whatever it's called. We're going to be cooking some fillet steaks. Yeah. So, rubbish bin down there. Right, so what we've got. Some gorgeous steaks. So obviously, from a butcher shop, number one, always get your stuff from a butcher shop. Doesn't matter where it is. If it's mine, all the better. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're basically gonna stick these in a bowl. Now, from there, a little bit of rapeseed oil. Right, and then Joe, are you gonna do the pepper in? So we've just got some little hack, vegetable oil, check what it says, it will say rapeseed oil, which is what you want, it's got a higher burning point, so drizzle a bit of that on there, right Joe, salt first, see it, a bit more than that, keep going, obviously it helps if Joe's been working out, okay that's it, then do some pepper for me, Now while we're doing this, I'm gonna turn the hob on, turn it to max power. Now, currently in our little flat, whose flat is it, Joe? Mine. Whose flat? Mine. Stop, Joe. Apparently it's Joe's flat. Uh, I just I just stay here. Um, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, why have we got? No, no, come on. It needs more salt now. Right. So what we're doing is these steaks have been left out of the fridge, so they should be at room temperature. Now what I do. That's it, perfect, now do some more pepper. Now what I do is I will, that's fine. Uh, what I will do, I've got the oil, we'll get these, leave these out so they're at room temperature, so they've been out for a couple of hours, not even gone in the fridge um, since they've left the shop. No, um, it's got salt and pepper that's, on Yeah, hand. okay, this part of cooking, Joe, it's what, it's what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly rinse my hands too. Bit of uh, kitchen milk. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Um, here, do you want some tissue? No. Oh, okay. Rule number one of cooking with Joe, make sure you have a nice red, okay? Because okay, this kid will stress you out. The induction hob is taken. So like I said, the, we've not been at the flat for that long, so we've only, we're have we missing a frying pan. So we didn't realize that until we started <laughs> the process. <laughs> we've tried our local fish and chip shop. We've never been there before. Don't know if they're any good. We're keeping them warm in the oven because this is only going to take a little while. So here we got the pan, or in this case, a non-stick saucepan. So it just proves to go, you can cook on any any kind of device as long as it can take the heat. So what we're doing is we're getting this pan as hot as we can possibly get it to. Joe, how hot is that getting? Can you feel that? Feel the warmth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's starting to kick through, right? Yeah. Okay, so we want to get this as hot as we can. So, good big chunky fillet, look at that, right. Going in the pan, it's gonna smoke up a little bit, quite normal. Normally I would probe them. I normally like my steaks about between 45 and 50 degrees centigrade. I'm guessing these are going to be about like that. Yep. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of butter on each one of the steaks. So as the steaks are resting, because that's the most important thing to do, is once you've cooked your steak, you need to let it rest. We do is letting it relax on like a physics level, the heat, all of the molecules inside are going like that. So when we let it rest, what we're doing is we're letting it relax. So the juices are going to come out. Now I'm going to use the juices to make a nice sort of gravy with the butter. Um, but essentially, you need to let everything. So whether you're roasting something, cooking a steak, whatever you're cooking, let it rest. Let it just relax. Legendary chips. 
Actually, no, we haven't tasted them. We haven't tasted them, so we, we're going to taste them in a second. I think before, were you any else? What do you reckon, people? Joe? Yeah. In the game, Bob? Grab a chip, see what you think. Salt. They've got a bit of salt vinegar on them already. What do you reckon? That's actually not a bad chip. So if you find yourself in Weybridge, that definitely worth a visit. What is that? Is that blood? Yeah, well it's kind of juice. So, don't confuse it for blood, obviously yeah. It resembles blood. But, as it relaxes, it will change colour to a deeper, darker colour, more of a brown. That's another reason why you want to let it rest, because obviously if you've got mashed potato, you just don't want this red juice running. But this is going to become a nice brown, brown juice in a minute. Crazy. This is actually true. Yeah. Joe, taste test for Joe. Perfection. As you saw, this was just cooked for two minutes each side. These are quite thick fillets. Um, just two minutes each side, and then just finished it off the, on the edges. Don't get this. Got all my bits of steak in there. So, let's not waste any of this juice. We want all of that. Then, look, see how it's become all over the top, give that a little yam up, right. and look, see how it's colouring up, absolutely delicious, Good. oh yeah, that's cooking with me and Joe, hope you enjoyed it, we're about to go and make, talk, make sure you smash that like button, Okay, yeah, like Joe said, we're about to go and smash this dinner. You smash that like button. Uh, let us know what else you'd like to see us be cooking, but we're gonna, we've got a few little plans already, so. Okay, make sure you subscribe and put the notification on, because you can't miss a video. Someone's obviously watched a lot of other YouTubers. Anyway, peace out, um, and I'm about to tuck into what I can only describe. As delicious. As. Multi heaven. <laughs>